Good afternoon to Echo One Charlie Echo Quebec. Another video. This is my new voice over internet protocol telephone and the networks I've managed to configure on the phone. These networks have links or other extensions within that network to call all star nodes and some of them are gated out onto RF and repeaters back out into uh, 2 meters or 70 sems so one of the networks have uh, repeaters connected to them uh, 2 and 70 there are some um, links on, on, on all of them that gate back out onto actually repeaters and then anybody can actually listen to them because it's all star so it'll be it will come over on the analog fm network not the digital network the color you see there yellow you can actually change that that is not a standard color well the standard color that comes with the phone is actually white the same colors i've actually got my call sign i wanted to try something and it actually works Due to the background colour, I think that colour yellow is probably best suited for that screen. And in fact, you can't really tell from the video to the actual device itself because it does actually look a little bit better than it actually does on the screen. The bottom menu system, do not disturb, menu, contact and call log, that's more of a goldy colour. And that's one of the features. Of the phone it's 20 lines I've got 20 extensions there and that is actually the um, screensaver quite a nice color standard would actually be white but I've changed that to a blue color I can't change the fan fill color which obviously would be nice it's just one of the things I've turned that back on one thing I want you to look at is it does actually have two other windows this size one here and one underneath eight extensions either side so you've got a block of 16 here block of 16 underneath I've got three pages so that's 96 extra extensions I can actually have and what I've done I've actually used them for the committee in this window here so it keeps uh, coming out of focus I can't really do anything about that Wait until it comes back into focus. Thank you very much. So when somebody's actually ringing me, like Dave or, or Alan or Steve, if Steve uses the his EU extension, that light will turn red. And it's exactly the same for the conference rooms. These US conference rooms I have uh, configured for my US extension because I'm part of the admin team. And if somebody was actually in one of those rooms, the light would actually turn red. So you can tell you're actually busy. Unfortunately, from the US, EU, and the uh, AP server, which is Asia and Pacific, BLF doesn't work across servers. However, if you check our website and go onto the phone book, BLF. Is, is on our phone book and it can show any of our members who are using their phones and it can tell with different uh, sections of the phone book whether all star nodes are active or conference, conference rooms are actually active so if you haven't got that capability it doesn't really matter you can always check on on uh, online so the third page I've actually got some uh, all star nodes East Coast Reflector the green colour I have got connected to or assigned to Hamshack Hotline. Blue is Hams over IP US. Red is Hams over IP UK. And yellow is Hams over IP Australia and New Zealand. The next fall down when it actually desires to focus again um, is may not look it like it here but the last four on this side 
is actually purple. I've actually assigned that to uh, amateur wire. So I don't get out of that. I, I keep green for any other network. But for AMS over IP, I've got um, blue, red, and yellow for the actual servers. BLF won't work on All Star connections, but from our website, when our All Star link is being used, you can actually see the user on from the phone book that is actually using that uh, particular connection. And obviously, you can dial in and you can actually uh, speak to that person. It is over. It is over the top for the networks. I decided to treat myself and move away from a standard Cisco 525G2 and try and configure something else. That is actually reasonably quite easy. I won't show it today because it's quite complex, but it's actually easy to do. I purchased this from a UK supplier. They do have other brands of, of phones at a reasonable price. They do come unlocked. However, for Fanfeel, the um, when you check its web interface to program the phone using the phone's IP address, you have to log in and the default password is admin, username is admin, password is admin. And if you go into a far, the advanced part of the program, on its web interface the default password is one two three and you can actually change those to suit your own particular needs the hamshack hotline extension isn't a hard phone extension it's a soft phone extension because i still have my 525g2 and that is wired up to to the hard phone um, link so i applied for soft phone for my mobile phone but i've also got this on here just to show what uh, I've actually connected. So when I do get rid of my 525s, I need to change that to, to a hard phone connection. A little bit uh, long video, but I wanted to show how easy it actually was to get all these up and going and linked. All through 96 of those from that uh, window. Took a little bit longer to do because you've got you've got to do every single one individually. But it was reasonably easy to actually to do. The phone was over two hundred pounds. Expensive for the network and expensive for the hobby. But what isn't expensive for the hobby? HF radios cost more than this. I'm not. But this doesn't actually replace any radio transceiver. Like I keep saying to people, this another gadget that's a place in the radio shack that you can use whenever you like thank you very much for watching my youtube videos please like and subscribe any comments whether it's uh, good criticism or bad criti criticism i don't mind as long as it's constructive please leave a comment and i'll be more than happy to reply 73s from 21 CQ.